I believe in yo. I don't know why, but I do. All right, Jerry, it's about the morning show. A hey, twelve before the top of the hour. It is about that time. Special K got news. You positively, absolutely cannot use. What up, man? Man, today is a crazy day in America. I tell you. Now, Ricky, you jokingly made mention of this earlier in the week a, a couple of times, but now, uh, man, your jokes seem to have have morphed into reality. Mm. And it regards this whole controversy just swirling around the baby. Now, as we know, the baby is a, a rapper from Atlanta. I mean, from uh, North Carolina, and angry activists from the LGBTQ community have uh, well, they've allowed their anger at this uh, North Carolina rapper to boil over. Now, you know, it started a couple of weeks ago, and he made some comments that were taken, uh, in, in, you know, in offense by by some things he said on stage. And now, Ricky is taken on a whole nother level. As some of the older members of the LGBTQ community don't fully understand who the baby is, they've started protests, literal protests at hospital maternity wards, preschool daycare centers, play areas and malls, Chuck E. Cheese birthday parties, and are even planning oh. protests against mall centers to not allow what? babies to sit in their laps during the upcoming Christmas season. <laughs> they taking it out on all the babies. <laughs> now there's even word of lawsuits against babies on the baby food jar. <laughs> The Pampers and the Huggy Box, and they protested makers of infant car seats, <laughs> saying that they don't deserve protection. So I saw they even some little, little Mike running through the mall for his belt. life. I'm like, Where, where's your mom? <laughs> They're saying that they even want to stop the sale of baby car seats. That you know the babies <laughs> need to just sit on the regular seat belt so anything and take their the chances. <laughs> even little Mike be up under the bed, sleepy scared. <laughs> You and your husband have to come with y'all, y'all son. They at their ass. They, they gonna so suffer some behind the, this. Some of the younger people in the in the movement are trying to get the older ones to understand that it's not. <laughs> it's not that baby. It's not all baby. It's really just one one, one guy, and he's an adult. But it's. It's taking on a life of its own. Man. So we're just going to hope that uh, this thing gets under control somehow and that some of the younger members get to the older members because uh, hospitals are reporting, you know, that it's really disturbing to see, you know, a lot of the older members. Uh, yeah. All right, so next there's a bizarre press release this morning. <laughs> That's so stupid. A bizarre press release this morning from the office of God. It just says, from the office of God. Uh, now, I want to listen up for the people in Atlanta this morning at 7 a.m. Uh, spokesperson for God is announcing that starting this Friday, heaven is placing a 60-day hold on all black dudes arriving from Atlanta because he's concerned about the rising violent crime rate <laughs> <laughs> behind the pearly gates. <laughs> Y'all won't let him in, okay? <laughs> so, so if you're a black man that dies in Atlanta... It's going to be a 60-day hold before you allow to go into heaven because they got to do a background check and make sure that you're not one of the ones behind all the crime and bucket and around. So if you die and you got a buckhead zip code, you ain't gonna, yeah. they're not going to let you go into heaven for 60 days. He also announced that for all dudes that die wearing an ankle monitor, that monitor will remain on your spirit for all of eternity. <laughs> 